I walked out the door this morning and actually felt like spring. Ah, that feel for the air feels good. But I'm looking ahead in the forecast. Well, let's not look ahead in the forecast. I find myself working two, three, four days ahead all the time. And then when I look in the calendar, I'm like, oh, well, I'm not actually there. I'm back here. And I do that because I'm always trying to anticipate workload. I'm always trying to plan ahead to make sure I get done what I need to get done now for what's coming. And it keeps me in this never-ending loop, impossible loop. But looking ahead, it appears we may be seeing a heck of a lot of snow coming at us, followed by, like, the snow isn't the worst part, it's the cold behind it. And a lot of it, like a week of cold weather. And it's got me concerned for my hives. So I'm looking ahead and trying to manage that. And I'm looking within the next couple of days of what I can actually achieve workload before that comes. And I'm starting to put together a strategy maybe to manage that. So I've decided to go through and drop patties as fast as I can, top up pails, get these colonies ready to be stuck in this box for, God, I hope it's not 10 days. But we're preparing it, for, preparing the hives for that in case it happens. Uh, we're not having time to drop strips at that time, and it's going to put us late. I know it is. We're not going to be able to get through the entire apiary before that snow starts to fall or until the cold comes. So what my plan is, I'll have a truckload that I won't be able to get at. And it's kind of in a windy location right now anyways. And I won't be able to get at my nukes. And they're probably the most vulnerable within the cold. So I'm going to bring that truckload of hives <clears throat> inside my winter shed. And then I'm going to bring all my nukes into the winter shed. And instead of stacking them up, I'm just going to line them on the ro in rows on the floor. And what we're going to do as it's snowing and throughout that cold, we'll go through with our red lights, drop patties, drop strips, place a pail up on top, and just keep them tight inside the shed here. This way, it'll allow us to get the whole round done with patties. It'll allow us to then get a start on the medication strips. Uh, so then when the weather comes back, we've already got, you know, a truckload done or we got the nukes done. We just had to get the rest of the hives done. We can probably do that in two or three days if we just focus on the strips. And if this cold weather follows through as predicted, it's going to protect my nukes. And those nukes are worth a lot of money right now. And they're the most vulnerable hives within my operation right now. And I have to do everything I have I can to protect them. They're worth a lot of money. I hinge on those nukes every year. Ah. <sighs>
We haven't gone down into any of these nests yet, or very few. But this is a sizable hive. This is at least an eight or nine frame hive. And I just want to take a peek to see exactly where we're at with brood, and which I have to maintain possibly over the next week, maybe 10 days. Here's the start of brood there. What's around that sealed brood? Stored syrup, so that's a good thing. Stored pollen. So we're getting into a sizable frame of brood there, which is nice. What's around the cap brood? Eggs. Any larvae? Uh, there's some further down towards the center. You can see some syrup there. I can't see here, but here there's eggs there. There's eggs and open. Ah, there's the sun. There I can see it shine now. We have, <laughs> yeah, we have open brood all the way around. Kind of typical what we'd expect. So that's a nice looking frame. What's on the other side of that? Right full of brood. <laughs> that is what I want to see. These nests are developing. That cap brood, easy enough. It's almost locked in. It's the open brood that we have to help maintain the momentum. There, it looks like a frame more open on this one. Yeah, this is a frame open brood, if I can see through the sunshine. Very young. There she is. Bottom right, right there. There's my baby. I smell. Oh my. I can't see. Oh yeah, that's all open brood. Ooh, that's a nice frame of open brood. How far out does it go? About to there, eh? These girls are, yeah, that's very young. That'll be within the last, so I see some eggs there, so that's within three days, and we're going up to the last three or four days. So this is right out of the shed, a lot of that. This side's more so eggs. Oh, we have larvae on this side. That's good. Okay, one more frame. So they have a lot of established work in here. Syrup. So we're coming to the outside of the brood nest, a little bit of cat brood here, a little bit older. So she's made herself a nice sphere of mature. This is probably in the shed yet, this stuff here. It's yeah. hard to tell. And she's expanded that sphere out like that so nicely. Just about the size of a, an overinflated football, I'd say. Well, maybe bigger than that yet, so that's good them back together so this is the work this is a momentum I need to maintain and we're about to get 50 centimeters of snow with three or four days following lows of minus 10 so they're telling us highs of minus fours minus fives that's not too exciting so what can we do as beekeepers there isn't a lot except for providing as much syrup as we can and protein all that established brood that's going on here, if they fall short just a little bit, they'll pull it back within an instant. I'm afraid they're going to anyways with this weather that's coming through. But our best chance is to keep those guts full of protein and to keep those nurse bees feeding, 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 and try to maintain that momentum. Even if she stops laying, we want to carry forward what they've established there. They pour all this energy into the brood nest and they're mining them, their bodies to be able to provide some of these nutrients. And then if they fall into bad weather and have to pull that back and ingest it, 
it's not good this time of year. These bees are running out of time. They need to flip it over. So this is a fantastic nest. It kind of put me in a good mood. They could use a little more feed. I'm a little bit shy of syrup, so we're doing all we can. The outside frames look adequate, I think, but there's nicely stored syrup surrounding the brood. That's all we can do. They'll have a pail of full syrup up on top. The patty. Close them up. Pat them on the head and wish them good luck. I can hardly believe it. But that tin foil I ripped off the window, we've put back up. And the room is now prepared to take a truckload of singles because we couldn't get to them with protein patties and all of the nukes. Road on the floor. It's going to be tight. I think it's going to fit. We'll find out. There's the first truckload ready to go back in. Tomorrow we do the nukes.